Hey everybody, Redstone Dad here. Let's play episode 45. Just another quick update. I figure the next one I'll go ahead and show you me uh, doing some mining with TNT. But let me just keep you updated. Since I can't do actually any uh, traditional mining, I've been forced to use creepers and then after I had a tree farm and made myself a mob grinder here. I then was able to get enough gunpowder to start up some TNT. As you can see I've recently lit up a, a large portion of the area down there. That'll keep mobs from spawning when I'm down there trying to do my stuff. When I want them to go ahead and start mining with the creepers again all I gotta do is just knock out a bunch over on this side and drag them on over like I did before. Okay. Now there's a couple things. I've obviously gained some stuff, but let's go ahead and show you. I just wanted to show you the overview there. Let's head on down. Okay. Head on down this way, real quick. The mob, or pardon me, the tree farm there. Yep, as you can see, I've been uh, doing that a bit too. I did all the torches, I uh, got all the charcoal. Speaking of which, I probably have some bunch in here. Oh, nope, forgot. <clears throat> Pulled it out for my last set. Okay. Well, let's show you what we got when we went mining. No, those emeralds are from trading wheat, not from mining. Alright, look at all that cobble. I definitely don't think I'm going to have a problem having cobble or stone tools for a while. I also got ourselves a little bit of dirt. I just want to go ahead and take that. Ended up getting some gravel. Now, the really good part about this is that. That is 37. Can you see it? 37. 37 iron ore. Oh, yeah. It's time to start building some stuff. And since I'm not exactly 100% sure what I want to build, one of my last times I ran out of food and I had to run around and go grab a bunch of food. And I said, you know what? We don't need to do that. We should build something for that. So what do I need? I need, oh, let's just make a dark room one real fast. Dark room ones are quick and easy. Uh, we're going to need, oh, we're going to need some uh, bows. So where's my string at? Oh, you know what? While we were up there, we didn't get ourselves any bone meal. So let's see what we got here. Well, that'll work. You do with what you got to do with. Okay. Let's go get that bone mill mixed up. That'll work for now. Gives each one a stack. And a half. Cool. Okay. Go ahead and make a couple more. Let's go over here. One, two, three. I think. Try that again. Three. There we go. <coughs> All right. Now I got that, and oops, I need a hoe to till the ground with. Okay, see, I got dirt, I got redstone, I need some dispensers. One, two, three, that'll work. Okay. And we'll just undo this one with the lever. That way it'll make it easier. 
Oh, I hear something. I must have missed something somewhere. Oh, I think that's everything I need. Where you at? Oh, well, you probably came from over there. Yeah, I didn't uh, take care of any of that area. Thanks for reminding me. The limitations are right there. And so all I have to do is spawn just right on the other side. Alright, so let's see. Where are we going to put this thing? Uh, dude, do you mind I'm trying to do a video here? Yeah, thanks dude. Trying to do a video. Okay, where are we going to do this one at? That's my stuck villager. Let's see. Oh, I know. We got a house right over here. Okay, let's use this space. This will be a good one. All right, so let's get the ladders out, bring the dirt in. Okay, see if I can remember how to make the dark ones. Let's see, should just go... I need one, two, three in a spot, right? That should work. Well, let's see. Put one here. Gonna go ahead and put. Gonna have to need that out of the way. Sorry, dude. Why don't you just move that to the side? All right. Let's go back to where we were. Put one here. One here. One here. One here. One here. It needs to go there, so that needs to go there. So let's see. Boom. Boom. No, oh, I have to eliminate you again, sorry. <coughs> Boom. Well. I guess I really don't need that one, do I? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's why we're building with dirt. There. forgot we're going to make it this way. That's what I forgot. I know I forgot something. What are you doing outside, dude? You should not be spawning outside. Oh, these guys never listen. I need two of these. There we go. Yeah, yeah, have fun with the doors over there. Okay, there we go. And let's see. We simply go... Uh, jump. Get out of the way that there. Nope. One of those there. One of those there. Let's see. One of those there. That's not needed anymore. See, I need one of these here. Need one of these here. <coughs> I 
Let's see, I need dirt here. Um, did I even bring anything? Wow, I don't know. Okay, here, carrots will work. Okay. That goes there. Let's see. Crouch, we go here. We go here. We go here. We go there. We need to hook up that one. my lever mm, I guess I can go here <coughs> let's see what am I missing for lighting tough spot. Hmm. I didn't think about that too well. Did I move all that out one? Or say heck with it? I can probably just pop a hopper in over there later. Or even a water stream. Ooh. Water stream going right out over here would be simple. And super basic. I have water on me. No, I have lava. So we're not dealing with that. And uh, we're going to put half in each. Let's see. Just like that. We have 60 carrots, counting that as at least 61. Okay, this is the dark room. The way this works off of is basically these things will grow because of the bone mill, but then realize because it's dark they shouldn't be growing, so they pop up. I don't know if that's a flaw in the game or what, but it's definitely interesting. So you go like this, you go like this, and you spam that, oh, what the heck. Okay, that's why I hit the wrong button, that was an idiot. So, okay, it obviously works really well. Carrots are great, I'm just blooming right through them. I got 64. I started off with 60. We'll see what I get here in the end. Now remember, we each one had a stack and a half. The bones are absolutely free. Do the mob grinder. Mob grinders are beautiful. See some of these, you gotta. There's a certain. I don't know. I'd say you have to hit a certain pixel. This thing goes absolutely nuts. Okay. It's over. want to break that. We want to go turn off, please. 
going to break that. Now I can't get those. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Did I hurt anything if I do this? No. No, it does not. It just means I have to collect them each and every time afterwards. Oh, what am I doing? Just place it on the side. Okay. There's our dark room food generator. It's basically an automatic, or pardon me, semi-automatic, because you have to hold the button. Each one of these dispenses, you can see because the way the redstone is set up, it basically constantly triggers each other. <clears throat> and they would burn out, but one will burn out, then the other, then the other. It's kind of weird. It goes back and forth. You heard it earlier, burn out, literally, but it doesn't matter. It starts right back up because the redstone's attached. And then this also sends the red zone signal. These have red zone signals, so it's on, off, on, off, on, off. It's just this really cool little setup. All right, now, occasionally this will turn back in the dirt, so honestly, you want to leave a plant on it. It's the only way when you come back that it's not going to be gone. So let's take a look. For a stack and a half, we got basically two stacks uh, for a stack and a half of bone meal for carrots. That's not too bad. We could have tried wheat. We could have tried uh, potatoes. Potatoes is a really good one because if you do this with the free bone meal, then you turn around and you, you have the tree farm and you make charcoal and then you cook the potatoes you get tons of experience <clears throat> excuse me now the problem here with the experience is until i get an anvil i have no use for experience it will not do anything all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and uh make a couple hoppers I'll probably go up to my unit up there Make some chests. We're going to pop in a hopper. Oh my god, dude. Seriously, what are you up here for, man? You need... Dude, dude, dude. You need to get down, dude. No, no, no. Yes. Head this way. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Would you pick an area and stop freaking out? I don't even know where you are. There you are. You know what? Move over there for a second. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, you're my cookie guy. You are my cookie guy. That's not cool, dude. You need to stay in there. Did you guys see that? My cookie guy got out. No, oh, wait. You didn't see the trades I did. Okay. He has the wheat, and the gravel, and the raw chicken. I gotta go get some raw chicken. He's got the arrows, which I am entirely useless. And wow, I had four, and now I have two. And he's over there now. Ah, you guys are not cool. I don't know how you guys are glitching out, but I gotta get some name tags. And I gotta name tag you guys, so I gotta start breeding your butts. All right, so not worried about anything spawning. At least if it comes from anywhere, it's going to come from over there. As you can see, the mobs are already over there. But what I got to do is I also got to set up a uh, uh, animal farm setup. I'll probably try to hook up some, not to say automatic breeders, and they'll leave the killing to me. It makes it so much easier, and when I eventually get a looting sword, it'll be so much better. Alrighty, so... Yeah... Uh, we're going to end this, guys, with me grabbing some of this. Let's see, what is it? 5 times 4 is 20. All 
Okay, whoops. That's 18. Yeah, might as well do, let's see, a dozen in groups of eight, right? So let's say 24. Get those carrots out of the way, drop that there. And drop some excessive carrots up there. All right, guys, here we go. <clears throat> We're going to smelt some iron ore and some ingots. And I'm going to make some uh, hoppers. We're going to make some double chests. I'm going to go up to the mob grinder. And we're going to set up a, an AFK setup where they're constantly collected. So I lose nothing due to the five minute timeout of the items. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button.